are back in our Builder Source kitchen with Chef Fernando Olea, who transforms the traditional ingredients of Mexico into superb New World dishes at his restaurant, Epasote, located in Santa Fe. Good morning. How are you doing? It's great to be here. It's great to have you. We've been waiting all hour for this because we got a little tease early on when we talked to the girls about the fact that today we are cooking with kids. So we want to, again, welcome Elizabeth Chapman and her sister Andrea, who both attend Mission Viejo Christian Academy. Hi, girls. Hello. <laughs> Already hard at work in the kitchen and looking fabulous in your pink aprons. I must say I'm a little bit jealous. I love them. And I also love good food. If you watch the show, you know that much. And Fernando, I want to ask you, why do you feel it's so important for kids to really learn their way around the kitchen? Well, it's, it's not only to learn, learn the way around the kitchen, it's to learn to eat healthy. Mm, good point. Uh, you know, nowadays the schools doesn't have really a healthy program. And that's what Cooking with Kids has been doing for the past 15 years. Yeah, and it's been really successful. It's and yes, it's for everybody. It's a uh, very, very successful program. Mm -hmm. uh, we even were invited a couple of years ago to the White House. Whoa! And, and uh, uh, we recognized by, by the First Lady for the work that this has been 15 years represent. That's amazing. Now, 15 years it's been going on. How long have you been involved? I've been involved for the past three years. Wow. A little over three years. And it's got to be know? so rewarding, huh? It, it's amazing, you know, because uh, on this program, uh, Cooking with Kids, not it, the center is the food. Mm -hmm. But not only the food is, is uh, uh, refreshed, we refresh geography, we refresh yes. music, we refresh uh, attractions. <laughs> So the kids really practice a lot of things that they will be very useful in their, in their own life. Yeah, I mean, there's really no better way to learn about history than to do it like this. And you're actually from Mexico City, I'm right? originally from Mexico City, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's, to me, that's why it really it's very appealing for me to be part of this because that's what I've been, I've been bringing to the, to the table in the school. Yeah, and you inspire so much passion in the kids as well as in the people who get to eat your delicious food. Yeah, and, if you, <laughs> and if you notice, they are making some fresh tortillas right yeah, now. Yeah, let me ask you that. We'll talk use. more about what, what's going on with the restaurant and everything, but first I want to know what is happening over here, girls. Tell me what you're doing. Well, I'm making these tortillas. Okay. First, they were in around balls. Okay. Like right here. Just like that. And you put them in here and you sort of like smash them. Okay. And make them flat and that's pretty much how you make the tortilla. And that's it. But you make it look so easy, Elizabeth. <laughs> I mean, you look like a master in the kitchen. She's a master. <laughs> Thank you. She is, right? Andrea, are you, are you proud of your sister? She does a good job, huh? Yeah. But you're doing a pretty good job too. Tell me what's going on over here. You're grating the cheese and you're doing a fantastic job of that. Are there any rules so that you make sure you don't cut yourself that you could share with some of the other kids that are watching? Yes, that you don't want to put your fingers right at the tip because then you might cut yourself. Very good point. Very good advice. I need to take that advice because the little secret is I always cut myself. I'm not very good at this. You're going to have to teach me. But I have to do it like you because you're really good. And I want to also mention that a lot of Americans really think of Tex-Mex as Mexican food, but they're very different. Everything is very different. The cuisine that inspired, that was inspired by the Aztecs is different than what we're familiar with. So can you just share a little bit about that with yes, us? Yes, yes, of course. You know, the basis of the Mexican cuisine is uh, uh, corn, chile, and beans. Okay. And, and of course, uh, Tex-Mex have some of those ingredients, yeah. but they've been, they've been a little uh, Amer Americanized. Mm -hmm, and sure. and uh, uh, they, they have the use of the yellow cheese that mm -hmm. we see in it here, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of cumin. Okay. And, and it's a big representation of Mexican cuisine, the Tex-Mex, uh, with the big difference that the Mexican cuisine doesn't use too much oil. It's a healthier, he healthier choice. That's good. We want to stay healthy. And one of your specialties is actually mole, which is paired with fish, meat, and chicken, and you serve that at the restaurant. That's correct. So, you know, tell us a little bit about the variety that you make. Yes, we, uh, uh, a difference of what many people think about mole, mm -hmm. people think that mole is one dish. Right, right. And uh, a dish with have chocolate. Well, mole, I, I think that Mole is the cuisine of Mexico. Mm, you know, like yeah. like like the 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 French have their sauce. Mexico, yeah. we have our moles. We have hundreds of moles. Uh, some that they go from white to black and anything in between. See, and people don't realize that. P people don't realize that. You and you know? offer those varieties at the, at the that, restaurant. That's correct. And and uh, uh, the Mexican cuisine is one of the richest cuisine in the world. No I doubt. could tell you that it's one of the five top cuisines in the world. My goodness. Well, it's so much fun. And, and girls, do you love Mexican food? Is it one of your faves? Yes. Yes. <laughs> my favorite is enchiladas. Ooh, I love, I love enchiladas. enchiladas. What do you like, chicken enchiladas? Yes. Or, yeah, me too. That's my favorite. What's your favorite? Chicken tacos. Ooh, chicken tacos are good too. So do you make those at home ever? 
Um, yeah, Careful. we've made him a few Careful. times. Careful. Is it? You must feel so proud, though, when you can say to your parents, you know what, I got this. I'm good. I got this. I can make this dinner for you. I mean, that's got to be a great feeling, huh? Yeah. You must be so proud that you're able to do stuff like this. And I guess some of the other things that you learn, in addition to the actual cooking, is you get to learn about the history of all the cultures of the food that you're making, right? Right. Have you, is there anything you can share with us? Any? Because I know you were telling me one of your favorite shows is about adventures, right? So you get to take adventures through the different places by the food that you make. So what is your favorite? Um, well, as I said, enchiladas. Yes. And... But at Cooking with Kids that my mom does, mm -hmm. she all, they've made tamales in the classes. Mm, yummy. And they speak about like the culture of tamales and where they come from and stuff. How cool. So my mom would sometimes tell us about where they come from and stuff, because usually you wouldn't think it comes from here, but it might. That's amazing. So, and, wh and what's your yeah. favorite thing about Cooking with Kids? Mm, that I left you cook, did you eat it? That, see, now that's a good point. We have, we'll have to tell, tell everybody out there one more time. She's a girl after my own heart. After you cook it, you get to eat it. That's the best part. Yes. So now today, so let's talk a little bit about the process of what you're making. You told us, of course, how you would make the tortilla, right, by flattening yes. it out, and that you would grate the cheese. Now, what other ingredients are important? Uh, what we're gonna do here, we gonna do a, do a fresh salsa. Okay. And and we and we have here the old ingredients that we use. Mm -hmm. Basically, so they are some tomatoes, uh, uh, garlic, onions, some lime, some jalapenos, nice. cilantro. Ooh, and they're all fresh. Yes, and That's the, the key. and the girls already chop everything, so they have everything ready for you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they chop the cilantro, of course, they, they clean and, and remove the seeds from the jalapenos. Mm -hmm. and, and they are ready to, to prepare the salsa. So important to be able to know how to do the basics just to get the preparation. Now, let's put it all together. Yeah, this is the best part, right? Okay. Besides the eating part, of course. So they, they're going to they're gonna put this together. We okay. have the tortillas. <gasps> mm, they look so good. Excuse me. Girls, I'm excited. I'm really impressed, I have to Those say. Those are the tortillas that they just made. Okay. So they're gonna have the tortillas, and they're gonna, they already smashed the beans. Okay, oh, you smashed these beans? Yes. Very nicely done. Excuse not easy, me. it's not always easy to do all this and to stay, keep it so neat and so perfect. I'm really impressed. I guess that's part of it too, right? You have to yeah. be able to clean it all up when you're all done. So My aunt says, um, a good chef always cleans up. I like your aunt. She's good. <laughs> She's smart. It's, it's a good lesson to learn, though, because then when you get older and you have kids of your own, you'll want them to learn that so that you don't get stuck cleaning up the mess. Yes. <laughs> because it's very, very important to have the kitchen clean, no? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and the first thing that we do before we start cooking, what we do? We wash our hands. Yes, yes. always. And when That's we come back, we'll very, talk very more important. about how we finalize this whole project, but let's first tell our viewers where they can find you. Okay, they can find me at uh, uh, Epasote Restaurant, and we are located at 416 Agua Fria in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We are located across from the Guadalupe Church. Awesome, and of course, parents can connect with Cooking with Kids at Casa.com, and we'll be right back to finish this up and do our favorite thing, eat it. Don't go away. Good job. High five, girls. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sounds like a good time to get some food going on around here, and some eating. What do you yeah. think? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fernando and... and so they, they're well, going to be ready to finish well, these tostadas. Tell us real All quickly right. how you put the final product together. So you have your tortilla. Okay. And then you, like, smother the... Yes. The, the beans. beans. Right. Beans on them. And you could put a little salt if you wish. <laughs> um, I always like a little salt. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put some lettuce on. Okay. Some lettuce on it. And then you got... Your so, cheese, I see. And then we've got some, now we're gonna put some salsa on there. Salsa makes everything better, doesn't it, girls? Yeah. yeah. And that cheese. looks absolutely delicious. Good job, girl. Yeah, we're ready. I'm ready to eat cheese. it. Can, Can we try them? Cheese? Yes. Yeah. We're so excited. Okay, we'll try one. We'll do it. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. <laughs> yes, put the salsa. I'm, I'm gonna grab one right please. here. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. We're probably gonna make a mess. I'm just warning yeah. you right now. We want to thank all of our guests as well from today, and we want to let you know that any information from today's show that you need to know is on our website at casa.com. And we've got more excitement tomorrow, don't we, Kirsten? That's right. On New Mexico style, Albuquerque model Megan Wiggins gives us a, gives us a behind the scene look at the CW show Remodel. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to fabulous fashionista Nicole Ritchie, fresh off the red carpet.
and get your legs summer ready with Dr. Robert Cutchin. Mm-hmm. And get your mouths ready to bite yeah. into this food. I'm excited. Mm. Girl, that is really, really good, and I'm making a really, really big mess, and I love it. Yeah, thank you so much. Good job. These are good. Hugs, yeah. hugs, <laughs> hugs, hugs, hugs. Group hug, group Have hug. Have a great morning, everybody. Thank you so much. Take a bite. Join us. Don't let me be the only little pig.